Ohaneze condemns viral audio saying it wants to apologize to Fulani over 1966 school. Which audio? <laughs> okay, let us in detail, please. The Ohaneze Indigo Worldwide on Saturday described as a wicked and false report that the Ohaneze was planning to apologize to the Fulani community over the incident of the 1966 school in Nigeria. The Ohaneze Indigo Worldwide on Saturday described as a wicked and false report that the Ohaneze was planning to apologize to the Fulani community over the incident of the 1966 coup in Nigeria. The President General of Ohanese and Dibo World where Chief Emmanuel Iwanya was spoke to newsmen in Uwiri while reacting to the viral voice message. According to the President General, I was shocked to read, I was shocked to listen to voice message alleging that we held a retreat at Enugu State and it was poorly attended. The voice message was false, malicious and the wicked and Malicious and weakened, and in the voice message that we had a retreat, and that in the meeting we said we are going to to the Sultan of Sokoto to apologize to them for the mother of Ahmed Bello and other things that happened in the 1966 school. This did not happen. I did not expect this false report. It was done by one Mr. Oguanobasi. They were making caricatures of me. The next day, another record went viral, and where the same Ogu was saying that they were earlier that what they said earlier was wrong. Fortunately, most people who called at that time knew it was fake. Let me say this. The retreat in Enugu was for the setting up of committees for the development of Igbo land. I commend the governor of Enugu State for his support to host the meeting. We did, want, we did not want governors. It was just for committees and over 200 people came. It was only the governor of Enugu that came. We did not bother other governors to come because it was a meeting of committees so there was no need inviting other governors. We have committees for education, health, skill acquisition, or an easy relief agency through which we can distribute relief materials to our people. We have started to reach out to other people in other parts of Igbo land. On the very voice message, the Ohanese President General said, it was not responsible for the coup in 1966. It was entirely a military affair. It was not carried out to make any woman leader and a beneficiary. You remember that coup failed, and if there is any tribe that suffered from the coup, was the evils because the evils we are massacred. We lost our businesses, so how can we go to beg anybody? And we did not murder anybody. We did not have anything to do with that coup. We Ohanese object to anybody profiling it to be evils. So anybody who says we are going to apologize is not true. Even from the books I wrote, we never sent anybody on that coup. So it pains me, people tell lies to damage my name, that we are going to apologize over that coup. So the story is lies At the end of the war, there was no victor, no vanquish. The Nigerian government honored the, honored the free hour, rehabilitation, reconstruction, but they did not do the reconciliation, and that it was Ohanese Ndibu is doing right now. Finally, part of what we agreed in that retreat was that we are going to publish a book to be called This Is Our Story. It will tell our story starting from the time of this war till this moment. So as a father, I will forgive them. Those who did the evil voice message. So far, Ogo has apologized and I have forgiven him. Even the move to free Namda Kano, I have done a lot. I am the one who started the move to free Kano and many will go to join me because they have respect for me and followed me. All our governance calls to Kano's to be released Ohaneji President General said. You understand? Why would they be Nawal? But who is coming outside spelling that malicious lie? All right. That is, Nigeria civil war is dead and gone. What we should do is to learn how to defend ourselves since Nigeria is not defending us. And that is exactly what the Fulanese are doing. And we have been running to hide and complaining here and there. Defend yourselves. Nobody will do it for you. Nobody will do it for you. Nobody have your time. Do it yourself and you will live. Stop complaining and begging and denying. This is exactly what the Fulanese are doing through the support of their brothers outside Nigeria. 
But it is a strong allegation. Only God knows. I did tell you. You people should stop. You people, the Igbo, should stop deceiving yourselves and stop being clever by half. It is not an Igbo coup. Where were your military political leaders spared? What are those from the three original regions where we are murdered? It is not an Igbo coup. Why the massive jubilation in Kano and Kaduna by Igbos when Saraduna and Belewa Grossom and Barbaric Estimation was made public with fanfare? Igbos must swallow their pride and apologize to other Nigerians, which won't be no victor. The apology cannot happen, yes, sir. You know why it cannot happen? The apology is going to be done by each and every geopolitical zone if it was going to happen. There is nobody that actually won in that war. If you want to speak about it from the books I've read, the Igbos, or should I say the Southeasterners, they lost over, over 3 million of their people were murdered in cold blood. I don't think see any other, or what's it called, any other geopolitical zone suffer that kind of one. So you coming outside to say they are not, you're going, do you know what you're saying? That's cool. Like I said, the only people with their life then, look, I come tell them, then go feed to come. As it be. As you talk about, as in as you, how go you talk about, you talk about as it be. Hmm. Okay. You cannot, you cannot, there's nothing like apology deal. If the apology is going to happen, we are going to apologize to each other. Yes, the North will apologize. Everybody will have this roundtable discussion. And perhaps we can start looking for ways to get better. If it is actually an Igbo coup, what will you do? The coup that was planned in the military barracks is being tagged Igbo by you because you lack knowledge. Was there no Yoruba officers and men amongst the plotters and executors? If anything concerning Ibos is being discussed, many slaves will come out from their dead issue. I beg. You never reach like that, too. I beg. This is the work of the enemy trying to cause confusion. I tell you, how will you go outside? So that did they be coming out to putting out, uh, what's it called? Be putting out things there that uh, the coup that happened was an Ibo coup. For goodness sake, it is a military coup. And of course, we all know that that time the military people were what? The military people that people are held sweet with the military. It is either the north or the south. How am I going to put it now? It's either the north or the south. South is them people, you know, they are not. How am I going to put it? Iwanya, you you're just a cheap liar. Ah. Hey. Now they know it's a military coup. So you uneducated Ibo should stop saying it was an evil coup because there was nothing like an evil coup. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We so say thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest 